Welcome to my Smart Doll Wing Making Tutorial. These are your supplies that you will need. Everything with an asterisk will be included in the DIY kit I will be selling on Patreon and also on eBay. These are the things you will be getting with the kit for making the wings. I have included everything except the glues and the varnish. You have the micro beads. You will be getting a baggie of mixed size rounder iridescent beads. You will be getting, this is a very important part, this squeeze bottle. for the texture. You will be receiving the finger protectors for the glue gun. One, two, and three different sizes. This is for the thumb, that's an important one. Of course, the wire, the Shorsky crystals, you get 25 of these, and two different wings printed, and there's two of each wing for the two sides. And this is the exact same items that I used for the tutorial. Now let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is cut your wings. You can cut out each individual wing or I just did half here. And you're going to tape it down. And this is going to keep it from warping when you put the glaze. You could use 3D paper glaze, you could use um, acrylic varnish. I used acrylic varnish mixed with a little bit of clear Elmer's glue, and it seems to do a pretty good job. But the trick is to get it all nice and flat. I am using cardstock to do this. You could do it on a table directly, but if you need to move it to let it dry for some reason, then you won't be able to do that. So I put it on cardstock and I use this squeeze bottle I found on Amazon. I'm just shaking it because remember I told you I made the glue and varnish mixture. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow the veining And that will make it slightly raised and give it some texture. Now what I notice is that if I start off the paper, see how I'm doing now, it won't bubble up because the first amount that comes out is going to be a little bit more than you want. So as much as you can, start off the paper, follow all of the veining, and you're going to see something that I do also when the lines do not come out exactly how I want them. See how it's coming out? It's very 3D, which is great. It adds so much to the realism of the wings. So if you notice, I started halfway through and see how it's a little bulkier. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect because nature is not perfect. So now this is the rubber tip tool that I use. I think, I believe it's silicone. 
and I'm just going to touch up and straighten where maybe it's a little bulkier than I want it to be. Now this is sprayed with Mr. Clear Flat spray paint and you do that before you tape it down, you let it dry and it will keep the paper from bleeding because the ink can bleed when you're varnishing it. So now it has dried, make sure it dries all the way through. You're gonna do this to both sheets of wings. And carefully take the tape off. Once that is done, you're going to cut the wings, each part of the wing out, leaving a little border around it. If you notice, I'm leaving a little bit of a border there, maybe about a quarter inch. So go ahead and do this to all the wing parts. And next we're going to wire the wings. So it is very important because I've goofed several times, you get distracted and you're not paying attention. But this is the front, you see how it's textured, you're going to flip them all around. Make sure that you're gluing the wire to the back, not the front, which you have added the texture. So put those aside and I just put them aside facing the way I need them to be so I don't goof. And I'm going to show you each one because they're a little different, what we're doing with them. This is floral wire. It comes in many colors. You could probably buy it in the exact color of the dark part of the wing. I'm going to paint it and you'll see. And you're going to curve it to the wing, leaving a little tiny bit on top. So you're not going to go all the way to the edge. I tack it down with a glue gun. It's very fast. And you're going to put it in place and flatten it. And then you're going to arrange the wire exactly how you need it. If you need to cut, this is when you do it also. And now with E6000 glue, you're only going to glue down the wire. And we do this because if we do everything at the same time, things can shift. So you're going to put a line of glue, you're going to position your wire, and then flatten out the glue because you don't want any bulk. And you're going to use these little clip thingies, and you're going to clip it in place till it dries. Being careful the entire time you don't get any kind of glue on the right side of the wing. So I'm going to show you now how to do the bottom part and this is a little different. I'm going to use two wires. You can actually use three wires for this. But I'm going to show you how to do it with two and then we'll discuss how you can alter that. And these wires are very easy to cut. They're wrapped so they glue on better. And same thing, you're going to tack it with glue gun. Place your wire. Flatten it, because you don't want a big glob of glue there. 
bend the wire out of the way and you're going to have another wire for the bottom part. And this is going to make it a little more steady and make the wing hold its shape. So I decided to go ahead and clip it while I was working on the bottom part. And see where that center part is? You can put a thinner wire in that section. I didn't do it, but in hindsight, that would have been a good idea also. So you're gonna tack the second one and I finally used a glue gun protector for my finger. My glue gun is on a low setting, but you need to be careful not to burn yourself. You could really burn yourself badly. So these finger protectors are amazing. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to glue. You're going to position it. And you're going to clip it in place. Make sure it's curved the way you want to. And I suggest you print a couple extra sheets in case you goof and you need to redo something. And that is it. Now we're going to wait for that to dry. The last part is the smaller wing part, which is going to go in the center and it's going to come out of li a little bit. The wire will be a little longer for that one. So I will show you how I do that one. And that's the one that we're going to paint also. And you, again, you could do that ahead of time. I touch up the paint with paint a little bit anyway, and you'll see me do that later. So I could just paint everything at once. This just makes more sense to me. So you're going to get a longer piece of wire. Again, tack it down, and you're going to leave the wire long because you're going to need that. And then once you're done with all of those and you've done the other side also, set them aside to dry. We are ready to start putting the other side of the wing on. And I still don't cut it very perfectly. Those seams on the side are going to really help for the gluing, you will see. Again, we're gonna tack it down on the corner just to get it nice and fixed. And you're going to make sure that it is perfectly even. See, now I'm holding it up to the light, which you cannot see, but hold it up to a light or up to a window, you'll be able to see through the vellum. And then you're going to use the E6000 and you're going to put a thin amount of it in between the wings. This is gonna appear very, very well and it's not gonna look bulky. Just make sure you smooth it before. Again, check that everything is aligned correctly and just like before, you're going to pin it. Pin it in all the areas that you think might, be, might pop up while it dries.
Okay, now they're dry. Take all the pins off. And they have a little spot there, but the E6000 peels off of a lot of things. So as long as it's not in between, you could probably clean it up very easily. So we're gonna remove, we removed all the pins and now we're gonna look, see how there's a space that didn't get glued because of the wire kind of holds it up. Remember to use protection, a little finger protection for your glue gun and a thinner glue gun of course is gonna be better than my ginormous one. So we're gonna put it in between put a line of glue and this is why you leave that border. You smush it and then you carefully cut it. And see how well glued it, it is now. So you're going to do the same thing to all of the wings. You're going to check for gaps. You're going to put the glue before you cut. Now, if after you cut and you do everything, you notice there's a little gap, then um, you can always go back and put some more glue in there. We are ready for the next step, which is to put a tiny bit of paint just to touch up where the paper has been cut and you may see some white. I am using a burgundy-like red. It's like a brownish red and black and I'm mixing those together till I get the shade that I need. Remember that acrylic dries a tiny bit darker than it looks when it's wet. And for this one, we're just mixing the red and black. If we had a true red, then you might wanna add a little bit of green to make it a little more brownish, or maybe a little bit of yellow, depending on the shade you're trying to get. This red works pretty well just with the red and the black mixed. So you're going to test it on a little corner and that's pretty close but it's not exact yet so I'm going to put a little bit more black in. You do this little by little until you get the shade you're looking for. So we're ready to start. And I'm just gonna do the edges, anywhere where the wing could have some white. And I smear it with my finger to kind of blend it in. You can use a sponge or a blender for this. I just use my finger. So you're gonna go around all of the edges. You see that white edge there? You're gonna go all around that very carefully, blending it as you go. So I'm basically wiping the part of the wing that does not have the white edge on it, if you notice. So the paint comes off of that and just stays where I need it to be. And you're gonna do this to all of the wings. And this is the one with the longer wire that I told you to keep long. We're gonna paint that also. And I did it all at the same time because I'm painting the wings also. And I, that way I don't have to do two batches. Remember this wing with two, maybe three wires. You're gonna cut those extra wires, keep the long one. Sorry about my camera a little bit. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to paint wherever you need it and then put them up to dry. 
Now they're dry, we're ready to put them together. So the fun part's actually gonna begin. And you're going to figure out how you want to arrange them. This is of course completely up to you. And when you're ready, you're going to start to twist it. I just realized that that bottom wing should be the other way around. So I will fix that before we go on after all the embellishing and everything that I did. See what I mean? That's, that's, back, that's upside down, but that's okay. If you like it that way, you could also use it that way, but I will probably flip it. And you're gonna put your wings down as flat as possible. The reason why I do this is because I won't, don't want to put all the embellishments and then ruin them when I'm trying to put the wings together. I have these no hole beads, they're a little iridescent, different sizes. And I'm going to use Elmer's glue because the E6000 is a little bulky for this part of the project. So I usually just put glue on my working area. And as you can tell, I'm almost out of my glue. I need more. And you're going to take a brush and you're going to brush the glue on only the sections that you want these beads to be on. I like to do the beginning of the wing. And I'm sprinkling very tiny and a little bit larger beads are in this container. And then I'm going to get my beads are a little bit larger so I can have a nice effect with the different sizes. Pat it down. And you're gonna do this to all the, the wings. You could do it on the other side I am not doing that because I embellish the back with flowers and you'll see. So again, completely up to you, wherever you want to add a little bling, you can add these. And I will speed it up so you're not forced to watch in real time because it does take a bit of time. Okay, so we're ready to put the rhinestones or rhinestones or Shorsky crystals, which is what I have here. See, I already turned that wing around. Now it's correct. And you're gonna put a little bit on your paper, just like I did. And this is a tool, it's kind of like a, like a Q-tip, but it's very sharp and it's not very soft it's good for putting the glue in little tiny spots and you can also use it to position your crystals the crystals I'm using um, are three different sizes so bigger medium and small that's how I'm placing them grab your glue put a little dot on your wing And then what I do is like I smush my finger into the, the crystals and they usually get stuck so I could pick them up. There are also tools you could buy to do these things. But as you can tell by watching my video, I'm not into fancy tools. So my finger will do. And you're gonna do this all around wherever you want crystals. You could put as many crystals as you would like. These are very close to the color of the wing. And 
and I'm going to speed this up for you. So you could do this also to the back of the wings. I'm only doing it in the front for the purposes of this tutorial. And you're going to let it dry, do the same exact thing to the other wing. I decided after the fact that I was going to add some clear crystals to that bottom part. Again, in different sizes. And there you go. Okay, now we're ready for the edges. And I decided to put micro beads, very thin, very tiny ones. These are actually reborn waiting beads. And that's how you can find them on eBay. Super fine glass beads. I use, I'm using Elmer's glue, put it on the edge, and then you're going to put the wing in the beads so it covers only the edge. And it's going to give it this frosted type look. Very whimsical, I think, and very simple. Now you could put glitter here. You could put fiber if you want like a fluffy effect on the edge of the wings. I'm sorry I'm a little off the camera. But you go ahead and you do this to all of the wing parts wherever you want the edges to have these little glass beads on them. Now, to let it dry, since it has both sides have the little beads, I'm going to put it in this jar so it could just stand like that. So now we're going to put them together and you'll see that I'm using little magnets, which later on I removed because it was not um, strong enough to hold up the weight of the wing. I need bigger magnets, so I just didn't have bigger magnets. So I still did the little cardboard, and uh, sorry, I'm a little off of the screen there. So I measured how much I would need. I usually just wrap the wires around each other, and you can also do that. I just, since I was planning on doing the magnets, I ended up using the, the piece of cardboard that I cut, and I measured it so it's a nice, distance for the smart doll back so I'm gonna I'm kind of like eyeing it and sorry I'm off the camera again so here I'm wrapping it this is something that you can do instead you don't need to do the cardboard okay you just wrap it around like this like I'm showing you right now okay so now I've got my little cardboard and I'm putting glue from my glue gun and remember, I have the floral wire, which is wrapped, and it will stick better than just plain wire. In the kits that I'm selling along with this, I am going to try to put the floral wire in there for you guys. Um, so then I do that to both sides, making sure it looks pretty even. Now remember, these are posable, so you can move the wings individually around however you would like. Adding some more glue just to reinforce it. Let it dry. And then I did wrap it before and I unwrapped it because I ended up not using the magnets. And so you'll see me when I wrap it that uh, it's got like a black wrapping on it and I had to like take that one off. But you wait a little bit for it to dry. Making sure not to burn yourself, be very careful. I'm pretty much pushing down on the wire, not the glue itself. See, now I grabbed my protector thingy. 
and just flatten it so it's not too bulky. And honestly, if I wasn't gonna put the magnets, I probably would have just wrapped it with the wire around itself. But this also works, you'll see, once I add the embellishments. So you're going to make sure, double check, that it is the right width for the doll. This is the top bust part of, if you have a smart doll, you know, if you know, you know. And I will show you later how to put this on a smart doll. So it's got some black ribbon on there because I had wrapped it with the magnets. And uh, it didn't really work. It was too heavy for those magnets. So I'm gonna use this gold thread, but first I got these little, they're little leather that they sell for jewelry, little leather um, strips. And I measured it at the smart doll where the opening for the arm is. And then I'm going to glue it to the part that would be the front of the wing, which is facing the back of the doll. Again, you know, I have my glue gun on low setting and I'm being very careful, but where the protection, I'm putting those finger protectors in the kits also that you can purchase with this, um, once you see this tutorial. And measure as much as you can. And in fact, so do the same to the other side. And you're gonna have these two little loops. Now smart dolls, you could just take the arms off and a lot of BJD dolls, I think you could just take the arms off and then you pop them back in. And it's perfect because the wings will stay put and you don't need a lot of ribbon, a lot of tying. Okay, so you see how I've done that? And so I'm using this gold ribbon and at the very corner, at the very end, you're going to anchor it down with some glue and then you're going to start wrapping it. Being careful not to wrap over the armholes that you just put in there, the arm ties. You could also use elastic and that will work for a lot of other dolls. But since it's a smart doll, I really don't need that. So I'm just wrapping it around making sure that everything, all the wires that you don't want seen are covered. Being careful again with the little tie for the arms. And if you were making some larger ones for yourself or your child, you could put arm ties just like this. It will still, it'll also work for cosplay. And I'm being careful to tie the very end, even though I'm gonna cover it with embellishments and you'll see. And make sure to glue it down every time. You don't want anything loose. And this is gonna hold the wire and everything in place. And then comes the fun part. I'm just making sure everything is tacked down. Just really look all around, make sure that everything is nice and, and fits perfectly. Now, the fun part, the flowers. So I embellish these flowers with the same beads that I embellish the wings with. And I'll show you one up close in a little bit. Still messing with the ribbon. <laughs> If you take your time, it will turn out very nicely and last. So that's what's important. Notice how I'm using my finger protector. 
be very careful with not being burned. And I think, I think we're ready for the flowers. And you could use crystals, flowers, um, beads, whatever you want to embellish your wings with. And these are flowers that I bought. They usually come in like a sprig of flowers, but you can buy them on AliExpress loose like this. And I just cut the ends. Smush the glue gun a little bit to flatten it a bit. And then add glue. And stick it where you want it. I always put some on the outer ends of the front like this. Because when you fold the wings backwards, you can see them and they're really pretty. Again, making sure not to mess with the arm rings too much. See, it's already looking super cute. Now we do the back. And it's the same thing. You just choose flowers. See how I bedazzled those with the little beads, with those beads that we used before. And I took these petals apart and I like recolored them with pastel and then I sprayed them with MSC. So I decided to do a large flower with the small flowers around and I kind of color coordinated them. Just place them strategically so that you can hide the wrapping. You can also put um, thin ribbons just hanging down. It's kind of pretty too. And uh, just check your wings again. Get rid of all the little glue gun strings. Oh, that one went, that one flew off. I think I'm gonna add some here to the top just to hide that bare area. There you go, look how pretty they look. Again, take all the little strings off. Check your wings. And as you'll see me do in a little bit, there's a little area that's kind of split a bit. And so I just put some extra glue just like we did last time and smushed it in there and closed up that seam. And you'll see me do that in a second. I put my little protector back on so I can squish it and not get burned. And see, I'm just putting it in between. There's like a little space that opened up and just smush it just like you did before. And voila, it is done. So those are the wings. Now I'm going to show you how to put them on your smart doll. So the beauty of the smart dolls is that you can take the arms off, pop them off, and and then you can put the wings on and they will be super steady. These came out a little bit small. You'll see in a little bit that I, I made some larger ones because this is not the doll that I made these wings for anyway. And it's posable, you can move everything around, don't forget. And there you go. Now your doll has wings.